If you build out these, these energy devices, if you build out energy generation, and you don't have a sufficient buyer of power, what ends up happening is the rates for the people that are buying the power are extremely high. And so they're super cost prohibitive. So in Africa, they do this all the time. They build these little hydro facilities, they build little energy generation sites, and the cost of power for the individual, because very few people are buying from the generator, are so high that they just can't even afford them at all. So the, the, the beauty here is of bringing Bitcoin mining into the situation is you can have them be that large tenant buyer of power to subsidize the cost of power for all the individuals on that microgrid, which is essentially what is taking place in Africa uh, before Bitcoin mining existed. And now it's accelerating. I mean, there's all this energy generation that's being built out all across Africa, have some really good, uh, smart friends, really uh, active friends in that space. And that's basically what they've dedicated their lives to is using Bitcoin mining as a tool for energy development in Africa. It's happening on a micro scale, but um, it's really important because it's, it's impacting people directly. Because instead of paying you know 10x what we pay here in the United States for energy, they're only paying like maybe double or uh, close to like 75% more than the average, the average US citizen. And because we have some of the cheapest energy in the world.